So I want to quite quickly go through um, unwrapping this character. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I've got another video, but we'll hack through most of the interface, I think, doing this. So uh, we have this character, we need to UV map in, and we're going to do that using the unwrap UV modifier. Uh, we're just going to have a quick think about this because he has got the symmetry modifier on it, and that does mean I can do half the figure really quickly. So let's do that. Uh, I'm going to go down the stack, and just after the edit poly, I'm going to apply an unwrap UV modifier like this. And you can see that we have these um, green lines all over the figure. Those are the edges of our texture islands. And if I open the UV editor, you can see we get this mess, uh, which means that nothing has been really applied. And that's just the randomness that was left over from the modeling of the character. Uh, we can see uh, what that looks like by going to a check pattern. And you can see we've got these kind of squares. If I press F2, it will change the way that the selection is highlighted. So and you can see we've got this kind of mush with uneven squares, stretch triangles all over the place. And really, this needs to be nicely even spacing. So let's get that process going. So the first thing we do is kind of a reset. So we're going to select all the polygons in the scene uh, by doing Control A. That selects all the polygons. And then we can go over here to the Quick Plane Map and we'll just do that. And now we can see that in our 2D view over here, in our 2D view, we've got this uh, sort of silhouette of our figure. You can see that some things are smeared because it's this looks okay, but when we look at it from the front, we get these big long stretch polygons, and we want to kind of make that all even. So let's start. And we have to apply a brain to the problem. The easiest way to kind of flatten this orange, as you were, is to think about it um, as though it's a piece of clothing. Because clothing works in the same way, you've got two dimensional pieces of the cloth which you kind of cut up and wrap around a body, stitch around a body to make a three-dimensional form. So we're going to unstitch this piece of clothing around our figure. So let's cut off um, the sleeves. And we'll, so we can just do that by selecting some bodies. Like this I'm control clicking to select more stuff. Because I've got this uh, ignore back facing option on, uh, it's not selecting the back faces. I'm going to press F2 again to make things a bit more clear. I'll just go on and just select all this stuff. There are other ways of doing it. Um, this is kind of the first method I teach because it's quite clear what's going on. Uh, but we've selected that whole sleeve now. I might extend it just a bit further into the shoulder as well. like that and we can do another quick planar map and it takes off the arm let's do that to the leg where should we start uh, so our oh, quick planar map that and we gives us another section and then I can quickly whiz through and we'll just do the major forms first They're all still not particularly well flattened, so we're going to have to do some more separations to get that to work. So let's deal with maybe the body first, and I'm going to go to edge mode, double click this edge, oops, let's turn off my element, double click the edge, select that whole loop, and I'm going to break it. And then I want to get these, this edge across the shoulders, which is just by itself, and I'm going to break that. So now if I go back to element mode, then we've got that section and the rear section. So I can take that in polygon mode and quick plane and map that. Move over and take the back, quick plane and map that as well. And that's better. But it's still not quite perfect. You can see we've got this stretching. So let's try a slightly different method. Uh, we'll try two different methods. We can take this polygon stuff like this, and we can use this button, which is called Relax. So I'm going to click and hold and drag down, and we'll see this little dialog. Let go, and this reveals the parameters of the Relax operation. 
and I'm just going to start relax and iterate so quickly that it's done pretty much easily and now you can see we've got a much more even selection of squares on the figure so let's do this to this bit and start relax and you can see it iterated a little bit more and again we've got this nicely even set of polygons. So let's look at uh, an arm because the arm is kind of easy. So I could double click on the figure and get that whole edge loop and then I can deselect all of this um, or I can double click in the window here and it will just, oops, remembering to turn off select by element, double click on that and you can see it just gets the current texture island. So that's what I want to do. I'm going to break that. And now uh, I could try and relax it straight away, but I think it's easier if I go and select all the polygons and we are going to use this one. Quick peel button. That does that. And that's quite a good way of unwrapping stuff. It's not quite perfect. So something like this, I might relax it a little bit more just you can see it popped the shape a bit better there and then we just work oops back to element mode work through this so just quickly remind you this middle mouse drag click control out to move in and out so let's do this leg again we're going to hide the seam down the center here so Let's find that seam. It's that one, double click it there, whoops. There we go. So we want that seam. Uh, we're gonna leave that bit on the shoe. We'll, we will split it. And select all the polygons, and we could do relax, but if we just do relax like this, Ping. Oh, that's pretty good for a low poly. There we go, unwraps. You can see that's almost a square. Move it over to one side. Uh, it just helps to keep track of things if I just move out of the way when I'm done. Um, these are kind of done because uh, of the planar map, but we can just relax them to get up to some even size. And then we'll stick that out of the way as well. So what else do we have? We've got the hand, and the hand is not too hard. And oh yeah, let's relax it. Ding. Uh, the, this bit we can relax, and but you can see that we're getting some weird effects. The fingers are kind of pulling across each other, and it's not not super clean. So really, we want to split the fingers up just to give it a bit more breathing space. So let's just try that. Let's relax that. That's a bit nicer. You see when that updates, all oh, the squares are quite nicely even, so I think I'll leave it there. Uh, and then we can go onto the sh move the head out of the way because we'll deal with it later. And we'll just go onto the shoe. And the shoe's a little bit tricky. Um, it's obvious that we're going to clip off the sole like that. That goes over there. And then I think to some extent we can just think of that as a kind of cylinder-esque shape maybe and we'll just split it at the heel so let's just split that and then we can relax it again a bit messy let's try peel that's better sometimes if you do peel then relax you can get better results and now I'm just going to relax everything all to one unit so let's just go over here and we'll normalize it pack it all into the same texture pays and then just relax everything make sure everything's nicely even so that is one side pretty much done 
So we're going to add another unwrap UV modifier here. And let's just remind ourselves what we've done. So that's the side we've done. And what we're going to do now is um, mirror it, essentially. So if we go to our Open UV Editor, you can see we've just got the one side. So remembering that that's the side we've done, we're going to select all the polygons on this side. So I'm going to deselect that one in the front view. We're going to select all this stuff. like that and we're just gonna, we can move it to one side like that uh, but actually we're going to mirror it like that so now in fact if I undo that let's just undo that a bit so we'll see what's going on so go back to check pattern and so you can see that all our letters are the right way around here and the wrong way around here when we mirror that lot, all those letters go the right way around. So that fixes our mirroring problem. And it depends on engine and other things whether or not you need to do that. Um, but for Substance Painter, definitely you tend to want to do it. And it's easier in 3ds Max if you're touching things if um, you mirror stuff like this. So let's pack it all together again. Like that, and then we've just got the seams down the middle of um, various things to deal with, so like the head and the body. And we can select an edge like this, goes all over the body, or we can go in here, let's turn that. Uh, so, where's the body gone? Where's the body gone? There's a head and there's body. So, if we double click this edge. And you can see it highlights another edge over here. Oops. So we want to stitch this edge to that edge to bring it all together again. And there's a special button for that, which is that one, Stitch Custom. And that brings those two pieces together into one piece. Oops. Over there, like that. Same for the back of the body. That blue line shows us that that's connected, so we can double click this edge, stitch it, and that's all good. So at the moment our head is split into two parts, and really having a seam down the centre of the face is generally a bad idea. So we are going to stitch, stitch the front of the head like this. Uh, so that we're going to remove some of the scene. We can't remove all of the scene because it would be impossible to um, flatten, really. So we're just going to grab all that. Maybe the neck. And we'll stitch that together like that and we get this mush. Uh, we can try and relax it. Uh, and that's not so bad, actually. So maybe we'll just leave it like that. So now we're going to pack everything together and we're going to use the advanced dialog. Uh, so you click and hold and that will reveal it. So let's go to the dialog. We're going to have um, non convex packing, rotate clusters, very small padding. Let's see what that looks like. Bang. That is a lot better. So there you have it, we've crashed through unwrapping this character. If you click on some of the links, you'll see another approach to this. I think I should do like a really in-depth tutorial on unwrapping because there is actually quite a lot to it and um, more than just characters. So watch this space.